Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really cool wallpaper effects using two photographs of flowers. They are going to do this in Photo P. So we're going to go to Photo P. In Photo P I've got a black layer and I've got a photograph of a red rose and I've got a photograph of a white rose. Now to make this really cool pattern what we need to do is to arrange the pictures in a certain way. So I'm going to move my rose so it is half over the edge of the picture. And then I'm going to move my other row so it's also half over the edge of the picture. And I'm going to arrange it so it overlaps slightly like so. Okay, I'm going to go to my layers and I'm going to merge those two layers together so that I have a pattern that I'm going to repeat and then I'm going to turn into the bigger pattern. So I'm going to go to where it says merge down and now I've got a layer with both flowers on it where I want them. I go to the move tool, actually I'm going to go to the duplicate layer tool, so I'm going to go layer, duplicate layer, I've now got two layers. I'm going to go to the move tool, move the second layer to halfway down the image here and I'm going to arrange it in the middle so I've got a red line. Okay, done, then I'm going to go to layer a layer, duplicate layer again, and this time I'm going to place it at the top, up here, like so, and then I'm going to go layer, duplicate layer one more time, and this time I'm going to place it over on the right side until it goes over to there, and it lines up exactly where I want it to there, like so, okay, and oh, right there, okay, too easy. Now, this is where it gets slightly more complicated, I'm going to go to my layers, and the layer menu, and I'm going to go to where it says flatten image, I'm going to click on that, I've now got one big layer, I'm then going to use my rectangular select tool and draw a rectangle very carefully across the top of the image down and down and down so I get it just to the bottom of the red rays and I've got it lined up exactly with the top one like so. Once I've done that I'm going to go to image, sorry edit copy and I'm going to then go edit paste and you can see I now have a layer here with the cutout section of the flowers. Now I'm going to go to the move tool and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go across to click on one of these corners and I'm going to change it to its 50% of its width and 50% of its height so 50% in there. And the height is going to be 50% as well. And click done. And then I'm going to move it up into the corner of my image, like so. Then I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to go to my layer menu. And I'm going to duplicate the layer eight times. So, like that, like that, and like that. Then I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to move one layer there. And I'm going to click on the move tool and move one layer there. Go on the move tool, move one layer there. Go on the move tool, move one layer there. Go on the move tool, move one layer there. And move tool, one layer. Oh, that didn't quite line up. Make sure they all line up. And move those two down to the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to draw a rectangle over that whole. Oh, start again. Draw a rectangle over that image. Check there. And I didn't quite get it right. It's very hard to do this on your phone, surprisingly. 
the image, and then I'm going to go to image crop. And there is my repeat pattern. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed making a cool repeat pattern. And um, have fun making your own. Okay, if you enjoyed watching today's video, obviously don't forget, Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers, and tick that subscribe button. Okay, thank you. Bye.